Hey guys, um, this is going to be a little bit different of a video. I just went grocery shopping and I know that a lot of people do grocery hauls. Um, and so I know that's kind of like a thing here on YouTube and I just thought I would share with you what I got from the grocery store um, a little bit ago. And I also wrote down the smart point values right there. So, I mean, if you want to like screenshot that or whatever, um, I just wrote down the smart point values so I can show you what things kind of are and aren't, um, you know, in Weight Watchers terms. Smart point values, if you don't know what they are, um, everyone is given a certain amount that they can eat during the day. And so obviously if you're given a certain amount, like say you're given 30, you know, if something's five points or something's 10 points, you're going to want to, I don't know, pick and choose wisely, I guess, as far as what you're um, going to eat that day. So I'm holding my iPad since my phone died in the store because I was scanning everything before I bought it. Um, so yeah, and my iPad won't let me do like the little swappy thing. Um, so I was trying to talk to you guys first, like with my face on the camera, but... Yeah, it wouldn't let me do that. So I'm just going to show you what I got. And I know that it's already super fucking zoomed in. But that's just how my iPad is. I don't know. So the first thing here that I got, I guess you can see real good, real well, I mean, are just some bananas. Um, You know, everybody knows what bananas are. This is like awkward as fuck. Okay, I got some bananas. And bananas are zero smart points meaning you can eat as many as you want guilt free go for it uh the next thing on my list is this oatmeal and i went to the aldi store we just got a new one here there's a bunch of them that are sprouting up in my area here in california and they have a lot of really really inexpensive stuff um for that's actually pretty good for you so yeah um I did the barcode scanner on this and it tells me that a pack of this is six smart points and so I'm not sure which one it is because if you look here, each one has a different calorie count so I'm not sure if it's taking the highest one or what but yeah that's that and I apologize if I was just like not very loud. I had my hand over the speaker so. I'm sorry. I hope that it didn't ruin the sound. Um, next thing I got is this ground turkey. They didn't have any fresh stuff, so I had to get the frozen, but that's still fine too. So just ground turkey. Um, yeah, I like ground beef also, but obviously turkey's better for you. So I got that. Uh, for a fourth of this, it is six smart points. So not that much but not too bad. So we'll see how that goes. Then I got these um, Simply Nature Kids Chocolate Animal Cookies. And I know that it says it's for kids, but I don't care. I mean, I don't see why. They're organic and everything. There's the nutrition facts on them and everything. And for, let me see, 10 cookies, it's five smart points. So I figured if I have like a chocolate craving or whatever, I can just have a couple of those and it's not too bad. The next thing on my list are these um, stuffed bell peppers. These looked pretty good. I've never heard of the name Bremer before, but whatever. They look pretty good. Um, they're not good, then whatever. One of them is six smart points, so I figured that if I had two of them for 12, it would be a dinner, so that's fine by me. The next thing I have on my list um, are these... Hot dogs, well, they're Turkey Franks by Fit Active, and um, I don't know. I mean, I guess they're better for you. One hot dog is two smart points, so that's not bad at all. So I was like, fuck yeah, I can eat those. The next thing I saw was this 100 calorie spicy guacamole singles, and this looks actually pretty good. I am like a Mexican food aholic, so. One pack of this is three smart points, so that's not bad at all. Um, the next thing was, let's see, the pulled chicken that I got. So it's this Kirkwood seasoned and cooked with cooked white meat pulled chicken with barbecue sauce. 
A third of this is six smart points. Yeah, six smart points. And I know I can't exactly show you how big it is, but I mean, if you've ever seen the Jack Daniels stuff, then it's about the same size as the Jack Daniels. And then let's see, I have on here next the turkey. I bought a lot of stuff, so sorry. Um, I bought this turkey, zero smart points, so I can eat this on my sandwiches and not feel guilty. Then I got um, this powder to drink stuff, Fit and Active Raspberry Lemonade. You know, it's just those like single packets that you put inside of your waters or whatever. And it's zero points for one of them. So if I want water and I want to like sweeten it up, then I can have that. No points. The next thing are these Cheez-Its. They're not Cheez-Its, but they're, you know, mimic Cheez-Its. Um, they're the reduced fat ones. I got the reduced fat ones because, I don't know, they're better for you. And to me, there's not too much of a taste difference, so it is what it is. These are 32 crackers for four smart points. So that was a very good, in my mind, very good um, on points value. And then I got these Taco Bell Crunchy Taco Shells. There's 12 of them in here with mild hot sauce, which I don't eat mild hot sauce. No way. I eat the hottest one they have, the fire. Mm -hmm. I ate the hottest stuff available. So anyways, I usually don't like buying fake taco shells, but I was like, you know what? I don't know. If I want to have tacos real quick, I guess I can just buy these. Let me just check the smart points on them. And to my surprise, they were for two of them, four smart points. So two smart points each. Hell yeah. So I was like, I'm getting that. Then I got this fit and active whole grain thin spaghetti um there's the nutrition stuff and let's see for a, a sixth dry of these noodles um which is like it's like a normal box so a sixth of it it is let's see six smart points so that's kind of eh but i like i love noodles and so i figured that going the whole grain way was at least a little bit better although those ones were the same amount of smart points as regular ones so whatever um Next thing I got were these, let's see, these um, Mission Tortilla Chips, or Tortilla, Tortillas, I don't know why I'm saying Tortilla Chips, Tortillas, just regular tortillas, you know, regular tortillas. I use these to make quesadillas, I like quesadillas a lot, so those are four smart points for one, so kind of high, but it's, you know, whatever. And then I got some tuna, just this like chunk light tuna in water, chunk light tuna in water. Zero smart points for this. I can eat all this tuna and zero smart points. So that was pretty cool. Although I am going to mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise. So I have to check on the smart point value on that because I don't ever eat mayonnaise except for in tuna fish. So we'll see how that goes. The next thing I got were these bread like rolls, I guess. They're these sandwich skinnies, 100 calories each. So if you're a calorie counter. So that's what one is. And it's, as you can tell, that's half of it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. To me, I don't like that much bread on my stuff. On my hamburgers, on my sandwiches, I'm not a bread person. So I don't like being bombarded with bread. So that's pretty good for me. Anyways, one of them, as you can see, Right here, three smart points. And then I got two different types of cheese. I got a lot of stuff, I know, I'm sorry. Bear with me. But I got some hot habanero um, cheddar cheese. As you can tell, I like hot shit, like I said. Um, 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 yeah, so that's the ingredients and stuff. I don't know if you can even, yeah, it's not going to focus on that shit, but whatever. Kind of, sort of. Okay, anyways. An eighth of this is four smart points. So I guess it's not too bad because I will probably put an eighth, if not less, on one sandwich. So that's fine, fine by me. Then I also got this um, aged New York sharp cheddar cheese also. Same thing. An eighth of it is four smart points. So yeah. Um, and then let's see here the nuts that I got I'm like a fucking honey roasted peanut addict and that's they're so bad for you but um, I did the smart point value on those and for 40 of them it's five smart points and I know nuts are super small so 40 isn't that many but I figured if I was having like a craving for them 40 is a good amount to you know 
put fuel my to put my craving to rest. So um, for five smart points, that's pretty good. Then I got these. Let's see, grilled chicken strips, Kirkwood grilled chicken strips with rib meat strips. What the fuck? Chicken breast with rib meat strips. There you go. Um, that's the nutrition information on them. And those are a seventh of the bag is two smart points. So, I mean, I don't know. That's like pretty good to me, I guess. We'll have to see how many exactly is a seventh of the bag. But yeah, I think that's pretty good because two is nothing. So even if I ate like four, then that would be eight smart points. So, you know, that's nothing, like I said. Then I got this uh, chicken lo mein. I don't know, never had this before, but it looks pretty good. Noodles and vegetables and chicken, yum. My mom likes lo mein and stuff like that. So a third of this is five smart points. And this is pretty full. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's pretty full. So that's actually really good for that. Then the last thing I got were these um, Clancy's White Rounds tortilla chips. I am addicted to tortilla chips. Like I said, Mexican food, fucking everything Mexican, I will eat. I'm an addict. So, uh, okay. The serving size on the bag says 14 chips. And it usually Weight Watchers Smart Points goes by the um serving size on the package however when i did the barcode in this it came up with 11 chips is four smart points so i don't know if it's 11 or 14 but i'll just stick with 11 as four so i know that's kind of high but when you love chips as much as me you gotta have it um so yeah that was all that i bought i know that was a lot oh and then that top ramen right there I bought that for my boyfriend because he likes the chicken kind and um, I know that one of those is I believe six smart points and then the kind I eat is the spicy one and those are seven points each. So again, not too bad if you're going to have one of them as a meal. You know, I mean, I know Top Ramen is not that good for you, but seven smart points isn't that bad for a meal. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I know it was a lot different than what I usually do. Um, feedback is really appreciated in this. I don't know if anyone's going to like this at all or if anyone's even going to watch it. So if you did like it, please thumbs it up. Please thumbs it up. Um, also, leave me comments, but mostly if you don't want to leave a comment, at least thumbs it up so I know if you liked it. Because if you did, then I will do more videos like this. I kind of want to start eating better, so I know this stuff isn't necessarily good for you, but it is a lot healthier alternatives than what I would usually get, like, you know, the whole grain pasta or the reduced fat chips or the, you know, the skinny bread instead of a regular loaf of bread, stuff like that. So, um, like I said, let me know if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.